In this video, we are going to review the John Rich USB to CAN bus adapter. Uh, I got this off Amazon for about $18, $19. And this is the device that arrives. And I have temporarily just put some uh, wires inside here so that I can pin it into a golf cart. So what we're gonna try to do is listen to the CAN bus on the golf cart to reverse engineer some of the information that might be going on on it. So I got this tool to try to do that. I'm gonna show you what I did to get it up and running. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is plug it in before you open the Kangaroo software. Give it a second or two. You might hear a little badoom badoom sound. Um, I've downloaded the Kangaroo software to my downloads folder. All right, so we are going to launch Kangaroo. And the first thing you will want to do once it's open is, so you can see here, I haven't even plugged this into anything yet. So this is, is plugged into nothing, uh, but you can go measurement, start measurement. This window will open and you should see something here called candle zero and the bit rate. I used these default bit rates. Uh, I have no can database selected, nothing like that. Uh, and I just hit okay. And so that is generally gonna get this up and running to start it listening and start it recording. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just plug in these wires to my can line on the golf cart. Okay, so on the golf cart, I've tapped into the green and yellow wire, which are here, which is the can high and can low. Green is can low, yellow is can high. Those come into here. As soon as I plug them in, you can see it automatically started flashing here. And then I have my inputs uh, coming out of here, the different CAN IDs, and then the data is displayed here in Kangaroo. So I can just drag this over a little bit. And you can see these bits are updating some of them in real time. This could be voltage or other things that are changing. Uh, one example that you can see when you're doing your reverse engineering is, let's look at this bottom bit here. Uh, I'm gonna switch the golf cart uh, into neutral or reverse and drive. And so you can see that bit that my cursor is on, zero is reverse, two is neutral, four is drive. If I change the gear from high to low, you can see the bit in front of it, one, zero, one, zero. So as I'm changing things on the golf cart, you're able to see those changing here in these various parameters. So that's how I got up and running. Uh, you'll know it's communicating well if you see the flashing kind of happening on here, but this is a Evolution D5 golf cart tapping into the can line uh, using the Jonic USB to CAN bus adapter and Kangaroo. So you can see that uh, information is happening. And this is all I really need here to reverse, under, uh, reverse engineer these CAN IDs to understand what they mean. One is obviously the battery percentage, uh, one might be speed, other things coming out of the controller. So I uh, hope that's helpful to somebody else who is using this. Overall, it does function. Um, this doesn't appear as a COM port, obviously. I think it uses a network connection to communicate uh, with Kangaroo. And overall, I think it was good. There is a different um, USB to serial adapter, something like this WaveShare one that does appear as a serial port. And it's something like this that I'm gonna use on an Android device to figure out what these uh, attributes are and then use real dash to display the da a new dashboard for the cart on an Android head unit. So overall, this is just the debugging step, but for working on my PC, the adapter does seem to work and those are the steps I used.